So today we're going to be talking about the Model 3 Performance brakes. Now, if you have a Model 3 Performance, you have these monstrous, monstrous brakes on the front and rear of the car. These are designed for uh, track days and for really heavy, aggressive stopping. They are quite amazing. The problem though is that they will get seized up. The reason for this is because of regen braking. When we have regenerative braking uh, doing most of the work, these brakes are not being used, as was explained to me by the, tech, the Tesla technician when he came over to the house. The thing with, the, because most of the Teslas awesome. are in regenerative braking, the brakes will actually seize in the caliper saddles to a degree. Yeah. Because they're not being used. So if you ever have a brake squeak or something like that, take it off regen and find the biggest hill you can. And just go run it. And go, go run it down the hill. Because the brakes aren't being used exactly. commonly, right? Yeah. And that was, that's the one thing with these, is these monster brakes on the performance. And yet, yeah, if I'm, I'm just letting off the gas, normally using the regen. Regen will slow it right down. Now, what we're going to do to prevent this problem from happening is actually turn down uh, regen to its lowest setting, which is low, and then go out and get these brakes nice and hot and used. And we're going to probably want to do this on a regular basis to see if it stops them from having this little sticking issue. So let's get going on that right now. So we're outside now on this nice rainy day and we're going to start our brake maintenance procedure, which is basically going to be us uh, shutting off uh, the regen and then going around and making sure to get those brakes nice and hot. Now, of course, the first thing you're going to need to do is go into your main menu screen there and then go over to driving. You'll see regen braking is on standard and we're gonna put it to low and then we're also gonna put it to roll, okay? So basically the idea here will be that the car will try to regen as little as possible during this drive. Now for your benefit, I will just try to cut in a little bit of footage of when uh, I was driving it earlier and you could hear those brake calipers uh, really, really tight. And obviously it's going to be clicking and snapping when you first uh, pull it off. And that's really just because these brakes are not being used. Now, luckily also for us, the regen is uh, limited due to temperature. It's about eight degrees out right now, but it was cooler last night. And this is the first time the car is being driven today. Now, of course, guys, you don't have to do this, uh, you know, as a separate thing, burning electricity for nothing. This can be on your way to work as long as it's in a safe space because you need enough room that you could really accelerate up to decent speeds and then slow down and, you know, kind of lay it on the brakes a little bit more than you usually would. The idea here, again, is to get everything fully engaged and fully heated up. Now, again, I'm not going full tilt on the brakes, okay? Like if we, if this car can stop literally on a dime, okay? But you don't need to do that. Just a nice, I would say like a nice 60%. A little bit of a hill here. Now I can really, really feel the difference already. And I'm sure the brakes are much happier. And in case anyone's wondering, yes, I'm doing this in a very isolated area without any, any other traffic whatsoever. Now, some of you might be wondering, is this going to cause premature wear on your brakes? Okay, because it seems kind of silly that we're just kind of hammering it like this. But in reality, it's not at all because you compared to any other normal ICE car, you are not using your brakes almost at all compared to those cars. You're using them to kind of grip the wheels at a dead stop and that is pretty much it. The rest of the braking, for the most part, is being done uh, by the regen or at least a large portion of it. So these brakes are gonna get 10 times more life. Well, 10 times maybe not, but these, these brakes are gonna get a lot more life than the average car would. So doing this out you know, once a week is not gonna hurt you at all. And one more decent one for good measure. Oh yeah. Now when the Tesla technician was over at my house, he also mentioned 
that it would be fairly ideal if you had a large hill around your house to do this and just kind of ride the brakes on the way down. That would have a similar effect. And about 30 seconds, 40 seconds of doing that would be probably the same, uh, the same effect on your brakes as those couple rips around the block that we did. Now, once you're back home, just make sure to put it back uh, into the standard settings for Regen because you want that free electricity. Of course you do. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. Now, in addition to this, it's always good measure to do a visual inspection on both your pads and your rotors. This is quite easy to do uh, with a flashlight inside or out in your garage. But overall, these things should last for a very, very long time with simple maintenance. So that's pretty much all you need to do there. And again, this is gonna be easy. If you drive the same route every single week and it's at least a decent amount of kilometers with some up and downs where you can safely uh, apply the brakes a bit more than you usually would, then definitely take advantage of that by just at least one day a week turning off um, all of your regenerative features and making sure to put those brakes to good use. Now, if you're doing it at least once a week, that should result uh, in not having any squeaking or locking up and will also be just nice and healthy to prevent any sort of seizing that could happen in the calipers within your brake system. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. Now, if you have a Model 3 Performance 2 and you are having any issues with your brakes over the season, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to discuss it. Now I've had my car for just shy of 10,000 kilometers now, or just shy of 6,000 miles, and I'm already seeing this happen. And again, it's just from, it has nothing to do with the brakes, nothing wrong with the brakes. All it is, is that they're not being used at all. And we can solve that very easily. Even if it's taking off regen on your drive to work, guys, this can make at least one day a week, this can make a huge difference. Yeah, but let me know in the comments below if it does help. See you guys next time.